those days. What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 15. Today, I'm going to show you how to comp your MIDI tracks. A couple of weeks back, I showed you how to comp audio tracks. Today, I'm going to show you how to comp MIDI tracks or software instrument tracks in Logic. So let's get straight into it. I have a little uh, loop right here with a kick and a clap. I'm just going to go ahead and play and uh, so we can hear what we're working with. All right, so there it is right there, a little kick and a clap. Very simple, very easy. All right, so the first step we gotta make sure we have set is that we have our capture record button already labeled out, ready to go when we're done sort of playing around on the MIDI uh, keyboard or any MIDI instrument that you may have. So let's go down here to the transport bar in the gray area. You can hit anywhere in the blank gray space, hold down control on your keyboard, click, and go to customize transport bar, and make sure capture recording is turned on. What that is, is this little button right here, and it will allow you to do something. I'm sure you've seen it in my other tutorials, but you will see it again, what's going to happen when I click that button after I fooled around and played with my, uh, that actually didn't sound too right. After I played some uh, keys on my MIDI keyboard, you'll see right now. So what I like to do usually is give myself a bar lead in. That is because when you hit record, it automatically gives you a bar lead in. But since I'm not going to be pressing record because I want to comp some MIDI tracks, I just want to play around and let Logic remember what I'm playing, I'm not going to be pressing record. That is the key thing to remember. You do not press record when you're going to play. It's, all you have to do is hit play and just play around and Logic will remember everything that you played every time this loop passes through. That is why I give myself a little bar lead in just so I prepare myself and kind of change my ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and play, not record. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. I'm going to bring on my software instrument to keyboard and let's go. All right, so let's change it up again. All right, let's do another one. All right, let's do another one. All right, so there it is right there. I just kind of fooled around. We just pretended that I'm just kind of trying to figure out what chords, what melody I'm trying to get. So that's what I did right there. I didn't have to press record because, well, Logic remembers everything I did, but you're probably wondering where is all the stuff that I just played out? Well, that's where the capture record button comes into place. So you're gonna go down, go ahead and hit capture record. And there it is, everything right there, everything that I played, every pass through, Logic remembered what I played. And that is not by hitting record, it's by simply just hitting play and then play along with your song. And there's every little uh, every little piece of information I recorded, well not recorded, every little piece of information that I played through right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit play and I'm just gonna AB everything. Sort of hear what I played and maybe take out stuff I didn't like, keep stuff that I liked, you get the drill. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. Just gonna bring my loop back right here and let's go. This is the first pass through that I uh, played. All right, so there it is right there. It's a little sloppy, but bear with me. Let's just say that is perfectly what I wanted to play, and I have a really good idea right there, but I have good ideas in different parts of the uh, stuff that I just played through. So let's go ahead and pick some parts out. So I'm just gonna bring up my scissors tool, and the key thing you gotta remember here is that you can't cut on these regions down here in the drop menu, drop down menu. You have to cut on the main region. So I'm gonna go cut here. I'm gonna cut every bar, and then we're gonna decide which part I like. So I'm going to bring back my arrow tool, and let's just say I like the way I played it out in the first one. On the second pass-through, I liked the second bar of the third pass-through that I played. The third bar, I like my second pass-through that I played of the third piece. And then the last one, sure, why not? The fourth bar of the fourth time I passed through and played something. So I'm going to go ahead and play, and you'll see that it's going to pick up the different mini regions from these sections here.
All right, so there it is right there. I just quickly and easily changed between the regions that I played through there. And now let's say I didn't like that. I really like the way I played here and this one here and this one here. You can see how easy it is just to go back and forth and select which parts, which sections you like better from whatever you played in those uh, different pass throughs. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play again. And we'll see how this sounds. All right, so let's say that's just good it is. That's good as it is, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna go ahead. I probably will quantize that because it's a little uh, out of, uh, not in time, but whatever. You get the point. That's how you MIDI comp in Logic. Remember, you don't press record. All you have to do is hit play and just have some fun. Just play around and then hit capture record and all the stuff that you fooled around with is right there. Keep in mind that you can only bring in the stuff that you played through one pass through before you hit the space bar again, which means to play. So if you go ahead, pl hit play, play some stuff, then stop. If you don't bring in the capture record, Logic will automatically erase that uh, data every time you hit play again, because it, this is just a store temporary cache until you bring it in. So keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, if you have any more questions, message me in a message, comment, rate my videos, and subscribe to my videos if you like them. All right, guys, thanks. Later, take care. I'll talk to you soon. More great, more great stuff coming soon. Later, guys. Thank you.